Have a nice day, everyone. I will continue in this series. This is the video number eight. The questions about class two failure and post flight report. Okay. The first questions. A class two failure requires corrective action. This is the options of answers before the next flight, during the next a check, to improve system reliability within 10 days. Okay, now I want to show you what is the difference between the class failure and the level failure and the category in the maintenance equipment list. Here is the classes here, class one, class two, class three. This is the classes. Class one failure indicates to the flight crew by means of the ECAM or the flight effect. They must be repaired or entered in the MEL before the aircraft can depart. So this is the class, class one. Class two indicates to maintenance personnel, the maintenance engineer or maintenance technician by the CFDS and which trigger the maintenance status entry on the maintenance part of the ECAM status page. The aircraft can operate <coughs> sorry, with these faults, but they must be repaired within 10 days. Okay, maybe at weekly check, maybe, okay. The class three faults indicates to maintenance personnel also by CFDS, but which do not trigger the maintenance status. The operator may have these faults corrected on this convenience. Okay, so the class two here, the 10 days to improve reliability system. Okay, we go. This is the field levels, three levels here. After we show you the classes, here is the levels. Here, the category on MEL. Category A, category B, category C, category D. Okay, I will like to show you what is the difference between class failure or level failure and the category of failure. Okay, so the correct answer is to improve system reliability within 10 days. This is the correct answer. Okay, to put here a right mark here. The second question, the post flight report is this is the answer. Branded automatically at engine start. Take care at engine start. The sum of last leg report and last leg ECAM report. The sum of last leg 
and the previous leg. I think this answer is not correct. But here, the confusion is here. After we explain what about this here, this is the source to help you. This is the BDF file. If you take this BDF file, I can put it under the contents of the video. Look here, at the end of flight, the last link and last engine, last link he can reports are printed automatically automatically when after the last engine shutdown so shutdown not engine start it is also automatically sent to a car if installed in your aircraft take care here here the last engine shut down. Here, this is the edge. Take care here. Here, on ground. Here, and flight. Look here, on ground. The last, the last eight leg report. The last eight can. But here, currents. This is currents here. So the correct answer is here on ground. These two reports. By the way, this questions and the source which I take the questions has an error, but I corrected it to become the nearest correct questions, correct answer. Here, this is the correct answer here. The sum of last leg reports and last leg ECAM reports. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. I am uh, waiting your comments and your suggestion. And please, if the video is useful for you please look put like mark and subscribe in my channel thank you very much again and goodbye